Hello, hello. Check my sound. Is my sound good? Cause I got an exclusive. Okay, new tour, new tour date. New tour date alert. New tour date alert. All right, the official first show of the Return of the Ghetto Legends tour. It's gonna be. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? In making. <laughs> That's, that's July 17th, okay? July 17th, make it at the Coliseum. Go to the website right now for more information. Look, it's facts. It's facts, because you don't believe nothing nobody tell you. Read it yourself. What did they say? What did it say? What did it say? July 17th, come on, bro. Fucking play with me. Go to the website. Get a letter. This ain't the Mando. So y'all ain't got no crack here? Nah. <laughs> this ain't that kind of bet. This ain't that kind of trap. This is a damn trap. What the hell going on, man? Nothing more than that was going through hey, here, man. man. <laughs> We're keeping it in circulation. Nah, man. <laughs> you take it out and bring it out. <laughs> Everybody ain't selling dope in this house. Somebody, somebody gotta gonna go work in the morning. <laughs> somebody gonna run it back as soon as we move. Yeah, yeah. Somebody gotta work in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, don't come over here with all that knocking and shit. <laughs> but we out, we out. Right. If that light ain't on, if, if we ain't on. Ain't if happen. that light ain't on, we ain't on. Ain't nothing happening. You might want to sit that down. What, what beat is that? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he played too goddamn much. I ain't happy. You heard this shit happen. See? He chopped it. It's got some bones. It's there. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too happy with this. Don't fucking play with me. Oh, man. I'm not, are we starting? Are we starting? Oh, we started out. We started out banter. On the answer, answer? Okay. Well, the banter. Yeah. Get it up, man. A little banter. Yeah. A movie review of Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. Hey, I really came to the Panther. I mean, really decipher. I mean, get up in the nitty gritty. Where the mercury resides. Hold up, that's too deep. You're a creep. If you get that deep, I had wiped it off like Satan's feet. I mean, it was that fucking hot that I ran up in the spot and nobody got shot. It was a party. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it was really silly. It even had a white girl. Her first name was Billy. She had a brother, and his name was Richard Millie. But he owed us some money. Ain't it funny how it goes when you're fucking with hoes? No one knows where the nose goes when the doors is closed. Oh, Understand there that? We go. There we go. Surgical. Because, uh, you know, I get real nerd, like earthquake. Okay. Oh, oh okay. yeah. And we've been smoking purple and uh, everything. So fucking great. Put it all up in your face and roll it up on a plate. Mm. Coming on that eight. Or maybe five or six because this is a black show. When we drop that shit, maybe one or two or maybe 11 or 12. Sometimes we drop it on time. Sometimes it's late as hell. Hey, and that's just how it be. I be calling Joe and he be ignoring me. Like, Los, it's uploading. I'm like, what the motherfucking holding? Holding up, what's the rolling? I'm rolling up, and every time I be like, what? It be loaded up. Oh, man. <laughs> By the time Ain't that shit mad, crazy? Right? People been watching the show so long, having babies that the baby done start walking and start going to school. Even got a little hoodie with the logo on it, too. I seen it myself. They be sending it to my DM. I be proud of myself. I'm like, damn. We done raised the whole community. Everything we bring it is number unity. Mm -hmm. And we don't even do drama. My homeboy done got back with his baby mama. What? Hey, 
I put it on everything. They wear matching jogging suits and happy and everything. <laughs> Even bought a new van. He's like, I'm really about to do my thing and stand up and be a man. Mm. Real. Mm. That's just something I seen earlier. That's called. I ain't even really thinking about this. I didn't know y'all had baby clothes. Nigga, we don't, but somebody made some. We working on it. 85 South Baby Clothes. We need baby clothes. We need clothes for the baby. But do you understand? 85 South Lunchboxes. Yeah. 85 South Little Mittens. Right. 85 South Little, Little, Little. Somewhere around clothes. your neck. I, was just, I don't know why you did this. The little, the little I co- felt like we were going to get some bow ties or either some Bluetooth headsets or something. I, <laughs> nigga, you pointed at the neck. I started thinking of all kind of products for, for, that could go yeah, right yeah. there. Nigga, yeah. I thought you was about to lift it up in like eyeglasses, nigga. It's just going to be collars. You don't have to really put a collar shirt on the baby. You want baby to look dressed up? You just put the collar on. Right. I'm not putting no goddamn dress shirt on the baby. That's stupid. Right. You can't button up a baby. Yeah, you can. <laughs> shit, Baby's neck be on. little though. Yeah, but it be loose too. Button that shit up. His, his chin, no. no. You, gotta, you gotta keep in mind it's a baby. Shout out to baby. My, My baby. baby. My baby. baby. Yeah, baby. Baby. That's dope, man. That's what you've been doing. Yeah, I don't know why yeah. motherfuckers be asking me where the fuck people be when motherfuckers ain't here. Yeah, I'll be here. I be, I'm, I've been there. I don't know what's going on. Didn't nobody tell you? be me. having shit to do, bro. I be holding it down. Yeah, I think, yeah you know how you do. Somebody got to hold down the travel. You do. Yeah. You do. That's why I come through. When I come through, you say, hey, I'm here. I be, be telling here. you. Like, bro. I, I ain't can't be here all the goddamn time. Tell them. It's hey, man, this, hey, man. this motherfucker was just breathing liquid. Right. The nigga was just breathing liquid. Now he breathing air, shitting on himself. Bro, they have a whole thesis statement. Why Clayton don't never tell us what he working on? I'd be like, man, the game don't work like that. All right, I'm not supposed to tell y'all. I'm supposed to show y'all. Exactly. Results. is to be shown. Right. I don't want them to get them fucked up, because they'll start thinking I ain't got shit going on, too. Yeah. What you talking about? Because they see me on every episode, and they be forgetting that I do all my shit outside the day that I don't do this. I just have great time they think management. You do, they think you do this every day. They think this is all they, I do. They think you do it right before it gets uploaded. Right. They think I'm doing it live. They think it's done. They, right. they think it's streaming. Yeah. They think this shit is, is, is straight up. Man, they, got, they went live again. Well, I'm about did. to stop reading the comments. I'm just over it. What's wrong, man? Don't Nothing. do this. You can't turn on the fan I'm, base, not, I'm not turning on the fan base. Nah, because they be <laughs> too big to fail. It's because they no. know I read the comments. We're too big to fail, baby. They know I read them. We're not like, and what? They've they been planting the information in there that I ain't even supposed to know. What they putting in there? Man. They, they talking, they going too far? They going too far. What you mean? Like flag comments? Like nah. shit getting in trouble flags? Mm-mm. Like they like, oh, you, and then they delete it. Mm-mm. And they, what, what's going on, man? All types of shit. <clears throat> All types of shit. They arguing about, they arguing. About, you see how like a motherfucker leave a comment? It could just be a, a comment that ain't even real. They will argue about how inaccurate the comment is, but it's all a lie. So it's like you arguing a lie and then the truth that you think is the truth is the lie too. So as long as they not believe in the same lie that you believe in, you feel like they are wrong and you are right. But then I'm like, what if I intervene and tell them that it's all a lie? And then the comments is, then you fuck the comments up. So you gotta you, let you them believe do, some you shit. You, you gotta stay out of that. That's what I'm saying. You would've got in now it. You the see. internet would've blew up. I know. <laughs> you would've, it, low said, nigga, no. you don't have to ever be if you already are. What the fuck? I did you? say that. Yeah. I told him that. See? It's deep. It's real. Motherfuckers don't know. They don't need shit. crazy. But long as you know. Shit, I don't know. I don't know shit. I ain't been to sleep in four days. Why not? Huh? Why not? I don't know. I try to sleep when the baby's sleeping. He don't sleep. I be like, this nigga must have popped a pill. Wow. You don't know what's going mad. on in that womb. Like, bro. I got to see. I'm like, baby, what, what are you operating off of? What, what time schedule do you like? Yeah, drink what? some milk. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, man, again? Again? I saw him get fat in a day. If you've been it's shitting all day, you ain't going to sleep that night either. If, think about it. Think about it. If you ain't never shit before, and the first time you really start shitting is on yourself, <laughs> think about how scared you would be. 
you would be <laughs> like every time, like, <gasps> like, yes, yes. I got, I was like, I was like, baby, shut, be quiet. And I was like, why the fuck am I mad at this baby? This baby has every right to go fucking ape shit. He was breathing liquid a few days ago. Now he out here shitting on himself. Right. With people he don't even know. Breathing air. People he never seen no, before. No, he just heard their voices. Exactly. And they sounded better when they was in there. Right. And what if the face is not matching the voice? That's, hey, that's, this is you? You, me? Who is dude? Who, who are you? Oh, I thought you was different. <laughs> How? I, you just different. Man, that's some wild shit, man. We got to get back out here on this road, man. Yeah. I got to fuck with y'all. I got to come out when I can. We gotta See? Go we got a few we places. Going. Y'all going crazy. Everybody asking, when y'all going back? When they going back? When we trying to go to all these motherfuckers. Tell them to come. And, I, and, and it be places. And I'll be like, they not going to go there. We will. <laughs> no, no, you won't. We go where people want us to be. OK, but them people can come somewhere closer to them. I know, but they don't understand. So you going anywhere. You going way off in the cut, Alaska. They don't know what like logistics are. Like they don't know how to route a tour. Like I don't want to like route the tour to your city and then the shit don't sell out and then you fuck our whole tour ratio up. Like we, we have you're to, talking about the, the fans yeah, that be have, asking you to come to their thing. Yeah, we have to go where we have a demand. And it and it fits logistically, right. like you said. You got to try. You can't just go there because you want to there. Yeah, but we, but you get, they can get close. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gonna come close. Like we they come in the cl- as close as people we can. People come out though. People come out though. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. And man, when not only out. do they come out, they travel with the show. <clears throat> when it's gonna come out? When this gonna come out? I don't know. That ain't my department. Joseph. He don't know don't either. Know That's his department. He don't know. Oh, uh, well. These Addison. niggas ain't working around here. Addison. Dallas, I'm going there. When? July 1st through the 3rd. July 1st through the 3rd? We'll make this clip come out immediately then. Yeah, July 1st through the 3rd. Addison Empire. It's gonna sell out. Let's get it. Let's go crazy. How many we shows? This is gonna talk. Uh, Six. I think it's, yeah, it's three days. I'm 1st through the 3rd. Y'all got the 4th, y'all can have it. I can't compete with Fireworks. Yes, wanna, you can. I wanna see them too. I know I can, but I wanna see them. They're gonna wanna talk. Fireworks last I'm all lying. of three minutes. I'm lying. I'm trying to get back to the baby. I know. I'm trying to get back to the baby. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure he hit the right shit early on. Yeah. I came in, he was listening to the 360 Mafia. I said, let me turn this <laughs> motherfucker. God damn you, Alexa. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Fatherhood. Welcome to the club. Yeah, man, man, why you ain't telling me that shit was scarier than a bitch? It is, man. PTSD. It is. That's how Especially you when you have to watch yeah. childbirth. <laughs> Scarred into my memory forever. Oh, man. I didn't know her leg could get up there like that. I said, oh, you really been flexible this whole time. Yeah, man. That's crazy. People don't understand how complex humans are. It was a sight to see. Yeah, I wasn't even trying. I was a participant. I wasn't just watching. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was doing too much. Let you know what really goes on out here. Yep. Well. I'm about to grow up. No, it's all good, man. You're going to be straight. <laughs> Don't worry about a goddamn thing. Man. Nah, we good. This shit been amazing. I'm proud of you, man. Hey, man, come on. 85 South get you, get you good everywhere. What you I mean? Don't, I, don't, I don't think people know this. This shit, like, you can go places like, where you been? I've rented apartments, I've gotten shoes, I've gotten, you know what I'm saying? Just think, like, I've gotten let into places. I've got my iPhone fixed exponentially faster at the Apple store than I would have if maybe I was just anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I pulled my mask down and they was like, Oh, you be on 85 and they was like, I got you. And I'm like, bet. And you like, know I needed my phone back, dog. My you phone, know why though? You know, you, I, 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 you got an iPhone, right? Yeah. The green screen of death. Have you ever heard of this yeah. shit? You, I ain't never worked my phone at home. It just happened in DC. He just got his shit fixed. Oh, yeah. I had to go, man. That should have fuck up your day because you know your phone's still there because your phone will be wiggling. Like, you can hear the vibrations if you put the vibrator on. So you know your phone's still in there, but you can't see shit. 
and I had advice to catch and all the shit. I feel you. But you know why that is, though, right? What's that? Because 85% is our family, of course. And they look out. Hell yeah. They look out. All kind of people that you never know are 85%ers, bro. I'm talking about people who drive the luggage carts, flight attendants. All the people who work in, this, in the food industry, they could be sitting right next to you. You never know. We're everywhere. That sounds like a little Soviet we propaganda everywhere. shit. We're like. everywhere, man. <laughs> 85% of us, man, we everywhere, like, like F. Everywhere you want to be. What was that shit? That was the visa? American Express, one of them cards. At every job, bro, yeah. there's some people watching 85 South. Somebody watching it. They, if, if you got a job, and they watch 85 South, they have increased productivity. Yeah. By 53%, studies have shown. 52% of the people who work at the airport, 85%. 85%, and see, that's the thing. They think it's just about the 85%. They don't if know. If we can get 13 here, 27 here, you know what I'm saying? Bro, we got two fans in Iceland. I know this for a fact. 2%, you think we're not gonna take the 2%? They think we turn away, we don't turn. This is gonna sound small compared to like, how many people over there? But it's like 20,000 Nigerians fucking with us. Oh, they, they fuck with us, man. They fuck with the us. The South Africa. Africans, we had they like 50,000. My people in London, UK, yeah, down. They oh, rocking yeah. with me. My bruv. My bruv and them. <laughs> listen, bruv, listen. Brethren. Brethren. See, Rodman. Hell yeah. I don't know none of that shit. Chico bro. just found out he Jamaican. Mm. So we'll be popping a little Everybody bit over Jamaican. there. Everybody Jamaican. Everybody got, boy, yeah. see, that's what's up. Bro, I just trying, found out. We, were, I, we had 85% at the, at the pyramids, man. At, the, at Giza, they had the shirt on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you take an ancestry? Mm-mm. You gonna take one? I am. I'm just, I just know it's just gonna say nigga though. This is gonna be Mississippi at all red. If it say that, you can, you, you can sue them. You can sue them. You are 100% <laughs> nigga. Straight out the Mississippi bottoms. I think they just throw you in sub-Saharan. That's why they hit me. 400 BC. But I ain't get both sides. I only got one side. Yeah. My daddy wouldn't be scared for the test. Right. You know how that should be. I'm not saying that. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm not spitting in no goddamn cup. The crackers used to spit on me. What they gonna do with the rest of it? Shit like that. I'm gonna right. take one though. I need to know. I got some relatives somewhere looking for me. But yeah, this whole 85% of shit, that shit around the world, man. It's worldwide. North, North Pole? No. Nah. Alaska? Yeah, Alaska, fuck with That's why I said you would go to the show out there, Alaska. Austria? People be checking in with me. Bucharest. Yeah. Mm. West Virginia Trailer Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They love it. They love it. The wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Cats watch this show. Babies. Cat. Little baby ducks. Duckers. This shit even popping underwater. This is what they put on in the zoo to calm the primates down. Dude. Put babies to sleep. A tiger will lay down and watch this whole show. And not even take his eyes off that bitch. All right. You can pet him the whole time. Oh, this is what I was going to say to That's the 85 percent man. Make sure you send us pictures of you and your 85 percent of gifts. Why you out on vacation this summer, man, so you can get reposted and shit like that, man. Tag us in your shit. We want to see where you wearing this shit to. Yeah, go we somewhere. Take it, we're taking this merch around the world. We need your help. Wherever you going this summer, take your shirt and, and, th and take a picture and tag us in it. And 85% of the world takeover. I like that. That's gangsta nice shit, yeah. <laughs> world takeover. Yeah, we taking over, bro. Go to Everest, <laughs> Mount Everest. With 85%. I don't give a shit if you go to shirt on. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. You can go to Chattanooga, just make sure you wear that shit. Please wear it to the family reunion. Before you put your family reunion shirt on. Man, wear that bitch to Pigeon Ford. 
Where that bitch fish? Where that bitch the Lake Altoona? <laughs> Don't wear the Lake Lanetta. though. Shit, it'd be the last church. Your ass be on the shirt. I don't fuck know why people still go to that bitch. There. Your ass be on the shirt. Why nigga. they still go to that bitch? You know what's a drowned town up under that bitch? A drowned town. A drowned town. There's a whole city that they flooded to yeah, make Yeah, I heard they tried road. to run them black folks out of there. <laughs> That's why shit keep happening over there. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to say nothing, but you bought it up. Shit, them niggas underwater on the air. Nigga get yanked down. Bro, Lake Lanier ain't no hoe, bro. Nigga said Lake Lanier so dangerous to fish drown in that bitch. The fish died. <laughs> fish jump in the boat. Get out of here. Get me hey, out of man. here. Let's go. Fuck you seen fish. It's some shit down there. Oh. Uh, I don't know why people still fuck with Lake Lanier though. I'm not going. I can't, I can't let nobody ride with it. I ain't even gonna ride by that motherfucker. Don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it. That shit did. Don't even look over it. You don't know what the fuck might happen. You just out there grilling. You just looking over at the water. Next thing you know, the water getting closer and closer. Like, what the fuck? Your grill go out. <laughs> the fuck? Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this shit waist deep. <laughs> like it's some evil shit on some horror movie type shit. You wake up the next morning and all the water back, it's beautiful. <laughs> Kids are swinging and then the water just start creeping back up. Lake Lanier oh, is man. evil, bro. So much fucked up shit that happened down there. And Buckhead is the ghetto now, ain't it? Buckhead is the new backhead. God damn. Read it in the headlines. What? Why y'all, y'all didn't, didn't nobody explain Atlanta to, the, to these niggas that's coming from out of town? These new motherfuckers. Dude. That's what it is. It's got to be. It's got to be. Because why you old? Come on, man. Buckhead used to be so safe. What? Buck, Buckhead used to be the little party place, the little cool. You know, this way you go to see the little goddamn hoes, get a little young, you know what I'm saying? Ride around. Now it sound like a setup. Man, now you can't trust shit over there. They shooting every which. They, they robbed the security guard. He ain't got no money like that. Why you robbed the security guard? <laughs> Why you robbed the security guard? The one person that's supposed to stop you from robbing shit is who you rob. What they what take? The I don't know. Give, give, me, that, give me that jacket. Nigga, give me that vest. That says security. <laughs> <laughs> give me your work shirt. <laughs> Why these criminals is heartless out here? They shot him. He ain't moved fast enough. Oh, shit. Yeah, they shot him. Fucked up. Come on. There's some heartless young niggas out here. Why you robbing him, man? The security man? What'd he get? What you think he get? Out 14? About an hour? Maybe about 18. Maybe 18. Max 18. And you think he got it on him? He don't. He don't. He bring his lunch to work. It's wrapped up. That's a fool. <laughs> Go up here and warm his chicken up. <laughs> I got here early just to... Just to goddamn go to the break. He gonna eat it either way, whether he warm it up or not. Damn, bro. Yeah, but Buckethead different now. That motherfucker, Wild Wild West. Yeah. I had some family come up and they was like, man, you wanna go shop at Buckethead? I said, well, you better go early. Hey. I said, you better be done by 11.30. <laughs> what, AM? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get your ass out of there. Be out here for tourist shit. They're doing everything up there. They shooting up the motherfucking malls. They breaking in the cars. They have a shootout right in the middle of the street. Hey, you can't go anywhere no more. <laughs> now, you, now you see what <laughs> motherfuckers be talking about. Just can't do a goddamn thing no more, man. This shit too different. They on all these drugs. You couldn't even make the Matrix now. These niggas would take both the pills. <laughs> they be to snatch both the shit from one. Real <laughs> quick. <laughs> I see what they both do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got no more of them pills. Nigga, you out the matrix. <laughs> the pill was never real, nigga. Well, Plug we gonna me back in. Morpheus be mad and motherfucker. Look, we gonna try this shit one more time, bro. Look. <laughs> that, that nigga quick again. <laughs> the red motherfucker hit me. Hey, hey. <clears throat> Where the fuck is my pills? <laughs> this morning. <laughs> that nigga down there done ripped a hole in his little bag. <laughs> Morpheus. 
<laughs> Mom, you gotta go back in time to when he had the pill. <laughs> I'm talking to this nigga. Uh, hey, man. Hey, nigga. This oh, shit crazy, man. bro. We just had Lou Nell stop through the trap. That shit crazy, man. Lou Nell is a fool. She a queen fan, for real, too. That's dope to hit the Robin Harris shit, too. That's one of my favorite comedians. I always put it for real? Yeah, I fuck with Robin That was Harris. one of the first comedy specials I saw. Funny as a motherfucker. As a kid, I was a little kid and saw that bitch, and I knew this shit was motherfucking amazing. Um, I didn't know what he was doing, but he was talking shit, and I was like, they made his kids. Yeah. That was a classic time. <sighs> made a movie on one joke. Now that's some gangster shit. Made a movie off one joke. I gotta make me a movie, bro. I'm tired of waiting on these folks. Let's do it. What are you talking about? We, we, we go ahead and do this I, we shit. We got some. We got some coming. Piled up. Just gotta come pile up and then make goddamn. I'm gonna do a fucking the amazing shit. I'm this. doing one of the love comedies, man, for the black people. Okay, what they so call that's this your shit? genre? What's your genre gonna be? What's it called? Like, Rom coms? Yeah, romantic black, com. Black rom coms. Com. Yeah. Blom com. Yeah. Okay. Black romantic comedy. Yeah. I like it. <clears throat> it's been some good ones. We ain't had no good ones since the night. Nigga, I'm telling you. So what you what you saying? Who? Cause you know I feel like it's gonna be the classic nigga getting the girl he I'm supposed to get. Just off grit and grind though. Oh, good grind. Hell yeah. He working at the restaurant. She had, she on the date with the nigga she want to be with. But this nigga making her laugh and shit because the nigga lame. Got the bitch giggling in the kitchen at the little piece of spot. Okay. Yeah, she looped back through and tried to pick up some, and then I started rapping with her. You know, classic. Right. I'm bringing back the classic, bro. Women right want to be. It's the thrill of the chase. Okay, so they have a little meat. I'm talking about this nigga chasing. I'm chasing a whole dime now. Shit, a whole dime. Like, and, and, and you're from the <laughs> other side of the tracks. Right. Nothing. You, Lady in the Tramp. Aladdin and Jasmine. Come on, man. Yeah. Heathcliff and his bitch. Hell yeah. Okay. Two at the foot, two at the head. I didn't like to sleep with John. John, John, he peed the bed. bed. Right. Uh, okay. So eight mile, it's eight right, mile over right, there. Right, right, eight mile, but on the seven side. Right, she knew knew. Ooh, she knew knew. I'm talking about. All she that. trying to play like this. She trying to play like she she like to play in the mud. Hey, she like to get dirty. Exactly. She come down from her little house on the hill. She got opportunity. Riding in her little Mustang, the five point No, no, it's the Benz. Oh, okay, the Benz. That's oh, what I'm talking. I'm talking about. Yeah. Side. I'm sorry, we want an upper echelon, we want it right. foreign. Right. I can see it. Nah, see, she got the bins. Yeah, that's how we living. The nice one. Yeah, the All nice one. one. AMG. All that. The big one, too. The one you don't even have to stop to let the roof down. That type of shit. And that's just the one. She got the other one, too. It's another whip she got. Or infinity or some shit. What, what, what did she do? Huh? <laughs> she bought that bitch. What, what did she do? Oh, what, what's her job? She's a bad bitch. You, you can sell it. When the last time you knew what a bad bitch You can did? sell it. Huh? She just is a bad bitch. She get money from Fashion Nova and about three more oh, shit. Oh, she get it from she get Instagram. It she Have get it the bad way. Yeah, she got a fat booty. She be hosting parties, drinking some rock and shit. The bad way. Okay, so yeah. so what? what, what she be it? going to advance, wearing her stomach out. Mm. And she got what type of belly button? Oh, it's her real belly button. Okay. And it's baby hair. Okay. Real edges. So real baby. Real. Tail smell like fruit. Real. <laughs> okay. Beautiful fingers and shit. Okay. But she get money that way. Yeah. But this her flow though. On the inside, when like when she go home and she by herself, guess what? Whole ass nerd. Guess what she love? What she like? Anime. What was That's it? how he get her. Anime. Yeah. Naruto. All types of just like underground shit. And she, you watch her. She like that cartoons and weed, bro. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. That's how you gotta do that. You but then they want you to know about the show. Right. I know something. But that's where you come in at. You my head writer. Okay, so then you'll know all the goddamn. And by the time we shooting this shit, 
and we keep. Nah, I already know the shit. Okay, so she a nerd. She a whole geek. But she pretending to be something she not. But see, this whole bad girl shit just was new to her because she grew up the geek and then she got fine. She got so fine. this fine shit new to her. She don't even think she fine. Oh, this is one of them shits, dog. This shit where the so bitch got on glasses and she got her hair in a bun. No, nah, that's she only the that's only off, when she had the and crib. Then she do a shit and then like she oh, know this how to turn it bad. off and on. <laughs> nah, it ain't like, bitch is bad. nah, it's not an ugly <laughs> duckling story. Take off a hat. And all of a sudden, let's get oh, back to the main story. That bitch took off no, the no, no, hat. No, 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 we gotta get. It's not an right. ugly duckling story. Okay, okay. So she, but she's she fairly wasn't as bad. Yeah, she's fairly new to this bad bitch lifestyle. She wasn't as bad. Right. Okay. It's right. new to her. Right. She like Judy Winslow. She went upstairs and, oh came, my God, no. and came back down. And, and started was, doing porn. No, not oh, like not that. that <laughs> not that <laughs> You're getting ahead of me, champ. Sorry, champ. Okay. Champ. Okay. Let's, let's pull it back. Okay. Let's pull it back. Not that part. Hey, man, we at the but, table. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, think about that, though, man. No, no, no. Not that part. Not even that part. Not even that part. But what you said. Judy Winslow going upstairs. Okay, bro. not that. I'm Judy, just saying. Yeah, All right, but Judy Winslow going upstairs? Okay, check it. Not Judy Winslow. I just need a No, no, I like that person. analogy. I like that analogy. <laughs> okay, so look. she never comes back. Be That's but why back to what Richie I was saying. acting so hard. Nah, what I you was saying. watch Lil Richie? Fuck Lil Richie. He was acting his ass. I don't like give a shit, because he knew he could have been next. He could have been next. He saw how them people getting down. Hey, he said, I was. That's what he was saying to me before he went out there. They won't Judy me. I bet you they won't Judy me. Hey, big guy, you want to go bowling? <laughs> now that I think about but it. All those families start dancing like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know how many episodes went off of him doing that? <laughs> Richie? That motherfucker said, I'm, I'm not going to go. I'm not going upstairs. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm not going upstairs. Oh, man. I'm not. All I'm saying is she just went upstairs one day and came back down and was bad. Okay. So she's still adjusting to the lifestyle. All right, whatever. We'll get back to it. No, no, no. I like it. I like it. It sounds, it sounds All right. intriguing. And I think it's a lot of stuff we can tie in. Okay. And then I think once we throw in the science fiction element, <laughs> merchandise. Okay. So where does the science fiction come in? Oh, they going to go in the anime. Oh. Yeah. They get the weed. They gonna go in there. Now they in there. Now they in the anime. You think we could get Meg Thee Stallion to do a song like specifically about like to fit this movie? Yeah. What if we get her to do the uh, anime character? You know what I'm saying? Like as we as we're in the anime, I feel like she should be there to at least help us. Yeah. Yes. She she be, our team, yeah, she dressed like Chun Li. In my mind, I didn't say that out loud. But okay. guess I feel like her name should be <laughs> Megan. That's hard. That'd be a hard anime name. Yeah, and then like you know, because it's like not Megan. Okay. It'd be like Megan. That's that's Japanese. Is it Megan? Megan. Okay, how would you say it if you selected them on the video game? Me gone. Me gone. Me. What if it's the little... Me gone. You... Me gone, me gone. <laughs> oh, fuck you, bro. I mean, I ain't doing this shit right now. I'm sorry. Hey, I like it. All right, man. I like it. We don't get enough credit, man. Black people fuck with all that shit, and they don't show us no love. We about to take over the Olympics like we used to. Oh, 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 And I love how it's just random black people showing up being Simone good at shit. In Chicago? Come on. You fucking right? Hell she yeah. Ass, man. I've been, I've been. And she, I like how she get I've down. Been, but I knew. She talked that bit. shit too. That confidence is there, that young spirit, man. Come on. Run. I do, I'm just waiting on a nigga to show up skin, bro, so we can really just lock up every event. <clears throat> that would be hard. We need a skier. That would be hard. Hell yeah. We need, some, seen we need a curler. A ski jump? You know what I'm The curler. With a dude sweep? Yeah. You want to do sweep? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. You know how many little barbershop boys are so prepared to sweep? How do you get to into that? To sweep that spot. 
How do you Sweet get into spot, that? Though, man. You gotta have the ice. You know what I was thinking about, man. You practice on the sand. What's that shit? Like a it. shuffleboard? Where you spin, you can slide the disc. For the old people? I'm thinking about buying one of them. That shit's so fun. Oh, no, you getting old, dog. Don't do that. Nah, because I remember we had a You're not old, but you getting old shit. We had a show in Bermuda, bro, and we were so bored. We were sitting there. We kept sliding this bottle down this long ass table. Made a whole game out of it. Ever oh. since then, I was like, I'm going to buy me a real one. Them bitches is big as fuck and take up a lot of space, though. I mean, you'll be fine. But you have. you going to start dressing different, dog. I am. I'm about to start dressing different anyway. You about to be tucking your shirt in, white linen shit. Nah, it's just time Five to switch up. Socks pulled up, nigga. Nah, next two years I'm just dressing like a cowboy. <laughs> and I am, I'm gonna dare somebody to say something, bro. I, I promise you. I like it, I still got my cowboy clothes. No, I'm just saying, I'm just how, that's my new attire, bro. Fuck all this shit. You remember we was cowboys for a little while? I yeah. lost my mind. That's what made me want to go back to it, bro. I rode a bull. I really felt yeah. like I was myself. You felt, you felt, you felt in your element. Yeah. What a nigga gonna tell me? You like, you like how uncomfortable it made the white people? Yeah. yeah. Because we walked around like, how dare you say something? You laugh all you want to. But I'm gonna be every day. I'm gonna have some different cowboy shit on, killing the game. New shit. You know how much cowboy shit you could buy for one pair of J's? Like nine days worth of shit. Oh, you can you can fuck up the boot warehouse. What? You need one good pair of boots. The more fucked up they are, the more serious people know you are about your cowboy shit. Nigga, you go down there to J and W Western wear. Hey man, think you about it. Get look at how much for two hundred dollars. Look at how for much $200 money. Is what you can get. So much, you can get like five bags of shit. Full of shit. Look how much money we spend on shit as black men. <clears throat> Look at the shit white dudes be spending money on. These motherfuckers be wearing $7 cargo pants and they <laughs> shoes be just, just shoes. Shoes. <laughs> shoes with a U. Right. S-H-U-E-S. -E with the little dots over it. What company is this? My buddy started this in college, man. It's made out of 100% recycled, recycled straws. <laughs> he sells them online for nine bucks, and then he gives eight bucks of it to save the whales. <laughs> when we were in college, we all worked for him for free, man. I got so many pairs. Dude, I fucking love them. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Fuck that. I'm dressing like a cowboy, man. Do it. Hawaiian shirts all summer. Do it. I gotta find something. I'm gonna dress like I'm going fishing. <laughs> fishing hat? Yeah, galoshes. <laughs> <laughs> Duck boots. Now I'm wearing, I'm wearing Hawaiian shirts all summer. <laughs> like a drug lord. I like it. Khaki shorts. I like it. I fuck with it. I'm gonna bring back our leather loafers. sweater vest. No, man. Fat farm. You gonna be hot. Fat farm sweater vest. For no the winter? sleeves. For the winter? No, or no sleeves. <laughs> Up under it, no shirt, no kind of shirt. Fuck not even a, not even a beater. Not however, a, however rich white man dress, that's how I'm dressing this summer. If you see me out of outfit, just out of mind shirt. your fucking business. Tommy Bahama shirt. Look. Oh yeah, Greg Norman. Khaki shorts. Give me that colorful shark. What's that shit with? Oh, that's the shit with the shark. <laughs> Greg Norman. Golf tees. We going stupid. Come on, man. We about to go yachting. Mix, mix it with the uh, motherfucking Louis and all that shit. Come on, man. We out here. I like it. Go crazy. I am. I'm not doing it. You don't I have to. I just thought about you it. Too, you cool. I'm good. You, you give a fuck. Right I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Still going to get some pussy. Of course. Still going to be a great nigga. And you gonna get, and, and it's gonna be a talking. Point. Yep. And Whenever gonna, I wear my cowboy hat, and it's I get gonna open to. me up to a whole nother range of bras that ain't never even knew they liked me till they seen my range. We started checking out Carlos Miller. They used to see me sit right here with this hat on and this, you know, '85 South Show shit. When they see me put them motherfucking Wranglers on, the Wrangler jeans and, and them boots. Jump in that truck playing that sad ass shit with the bass turned play? all the way down. That country music loud with no bass. What you playing? <laughs> no Willow. instruments. Willa Walker. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, dog. I'm playing all that shit. 
They're gonna be like, oh my God. I can't be your hero. It's gonna be 19 rich this white women God. in Texas like, please come to Amarillo. <laughs> watch. Just watch. Man. Come on. Go I here. speak good shit. I'm popping in. So you doing community. it to appeal to other markets? Yeah. And and you know Hispanic women love niggas dressed like cowboys. I like it. I like it. Right. That's how we really should. At this point, dog, what the fuck, man? Get an outfit every day. Wear something. Every day of the week. Something. Go crazy. Yeah. I like it. And do something in it, too. What you gonna do? <laughs> Regular shit. Close. Go to Subway. <laughs> Three piece tuxedo, man. <laughs> Vest, comma, bun, everything. Suspenders. Just be extra as fuck. <laughs> They got a color bud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and a top hat. Uh, <laughs> Kane and some more shit. This nigga just dumb and dumb. Dumb and stupid as hell. <laughs> Give them what they want. That's what they want, man. They be expect they be looking for the worst in us, don't they? But we love the people that be seeing the good, cause that amount is, man. Hey. But they be wanting to see it. It's rough out here, man. They want to see it. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Come on. Look at this shit. Slow ass. You want to hear some comments? This podcast has turned into a very high quality black talk show. You are absolutely right. We did this on purpose. It's all part of our plan we came up with. 15 phase plan to convert our podcast into the number one black talk show amongst 13 to uh, 86 80, 80 years old. Years. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what else? That said, that's the best Lamar Odom interview ever. That man was never uncomfortable. He was well respected. 85 South Show has the blueprint for the world. You wow. motherfucking right. Come on. And, hey, that's, see, and that's, that's just not me saying this. That's this is a real comment from Granddaddy Dave 5.0, and you can look him up if you think that it's fuck you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shit, bro. Hearing black men talk about stocks is inspiration on another level. Well, Jermaine Barry, we appreciate you, Jermaine. Jermaine. I'm glad we able to see only niggas like us can reach niggas like Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine not listening to nobody. No, else. Jermaine is Jermaine is, is doing his thing. Jermaine think he know everything. Bro, did you go to school with Jermaine any niggas like Jermaine? How many Jermaine did you go to school stuck with? In this shit. Jermaine said he gonna bust a nigga head if he fuck with a dick. <laughs> Jermaine old, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to school with any niggas named Jermaine? Yeah, probably. I, I can't picture them. Them be some thugged right out niggas, man. Jermaine's and Tavares. Jermaine and Tavares. Jermaine and Tavares. Right. Some thugged out niggas. All right, uh, Joe's lab make anything funny. That shit is hilarious. James Lord said that. Uh, they Yo, said, why don't you laugh for the people? They like it. They like it. They like it. Do it for the people. Oh, shout out to my boy Brandon Mobley, man. He says, greetings, 85 South Show family. After long seven and a half weeks, I graduated Air Force basic training. Call, proud to call myself an airman. Now I'm just going to sit back and laugh at these fools while heading to my tech school. <laughs> boy, you better fly. Salute, Brandon. Yeah. You better fly to the top of your class, man. Let's go. We got somebody to do Air Force school. We made somebody an airman. We didn't do it, but we helped him. We and gave we him the we motivation. Didn't hurt him and we did we didn't hinder him. We, we did not put hurdles in his path. Oh man, check out what Jerry said. He said what we Jerry need said. Eddie Murphy in the trap, but Nav didn't. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna ask the I feel you on that, Jerry. I started to ask Lunel, but I was like, you know what? That ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> do you know now? That's what they, look, yeah. Miss Me said they that. should create cartoon reenactments of the story they tell during this segment. That would be a nice visual. We might be able to swing that. We, we got an art department. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, these people who said this podcast is for everybody who old enough to remember when T-Pain was on every goddamn song. Bro, you missed the T-Pain shit. I, I was 
man. You know what I was on? What? Baby high alert. This baby might drop, it might not drop. I should have just went. Right. I should have just came on. Right. You, know, you made man. the right decision though. T-Pain a cool dude. Damn. What's your favorite T-Pain song? Oh man, damn. He likes so many different bitches. This nigga fell in love with a stripper. This nigga like the bartender. He hey man. This nigga met a bitch with her boots on and apple bottom jeans. And dog, that was the thing. See? He was like, this is the shit I'm talking about. They fucking with us in Costa Rica. Love bro. T-Pain, man. Costa Rica. Costa Rica? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. We fuck with y'all too. Islands and shit. You heard what Usher said to T Pain? Somebody asked me about it, man, and I just flat out told him, I was like, man, Usher, you know, Usher hate me a nigga, man. Usher, Usher ruined dancing, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, bitches expected us to come out our shoes okay, after wait, that man. shit. Hold on. They wanted that nigga wait, hold on, to, wait, to do what he did. Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you talking about this? Are we at the arcade? <laughs> Turn it up. Ever Turn since it I said we're going to replace that nigga with Alexa, he just been trying me, bro. <laughs> Turn it up. So my dad lets us practice in the garage. We were wondering if you, we saw you have to play the bass, right? You want to be in our band? Turn it up some more. Oh, this the rock version? You know what this is, right? Titties in the building, we got titties in the building, we got titties in the building, we got titties! Titties in the building, we got titties in the building, we got titties in the building, we got titties! Come on, guys. <laughs> titties! Boobies and the knockers and the titties in the building. Yeah. Put Jack Black on that bitch. Titties and the knockers and the knockers and the titties in the building. Yeah. Titties and the knockers and the knockers and the titties in the building. Yeah. How you doing tonight, Cleveland? Titties in the building, we got titties in the building, we got titties! Cincinnati! Clap your hands with me if you're here with me tonight! Alright! Titties on the left, titties on the right, titties all day and we got titties all night! Come on! Oklahoma, are you with me? Nashville! <laughs> Yeah, the thing we just started in my dad's garage. Now man, we're on tour. Turn that shit off, man. The whole world. <laughs> we shot to the top of the charts. Next thing you know, we're in London and we're working on some music with this guy. And he's like, you know, maybe we should try to relive that moment of teasing in the building, you know, when we first went number one. And he's like, maybe we should do something, you know, like maybe like a pussy in the building. And I was like, I could work. I could work. I could work with that. I could work with that. Work with that. Pretty good. We got pussy in the building. I feel like pussy needs more like in its own space. No one would just really have pussy in the building, right? No, pussy. Uh, pussy's everywhere. Pussy's everywhere. It's really hard to nail down the pussy. It's really hard to say. <laughs> That'd be the end of the group. Right. That's Niggas right. couldn't decide on how the pussy should come in the building. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody it's, wants it's to go to the studio and do nothing. Straight into pussy in the building. I said no. <laughs> we should have a cinematic intro. Everyone wanted us to go back and do another studio album, but we made a hundred million dollars off our first one. Bro. To this day, titties in the building. Bro, we got it. I'm gonna do that romantic comedy, man. Rom com, go. I'm Let's do you. it. Let's do, let's just, okay, so they just remaking everything, right? Everything Hollywood make, they remaking, right? 
So we just remake it black. Whatever they made white, we remake it black. Okay. But we make our own shit, but you know how they always try to be like, All right. oh, but that's the same, no. So no. you basically saying we could take a Melissa McCarthy movie and put Lizzo in, bam. I feel like Kiki Palmer should be getting more roles. So give her, put her in the Julia Roberts shit. I don't know. Have Julia Roberts. Go, yeah, have her go adopt a little big black baby, a big white baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a, a reverse blind side. Mm. Yep. Yep. The, the, the baby, the baby little and the mama big. A black family adopt a white baby and he goes to the major league playing baseball. Oh, good as fuck. Good as fuck. Kiki Palmer the mama. <laughs> You just throw it like you. It, then she just Let's do a ghetto it. version of a Tyler Perry movie called What We Get Married For. <laughs> Why did we do this shit again? <laughs> we, we have a trilogy. It's got to be three movies. I'll only sign on if it's a three movie deal. That's the only way I sign on. <laughs> it's got to be a three movie deal. <laughs> Why we get married for? <laughs> what we get married for? Remind me what I get married for this year. Coming to the stage. They already made a movie called The Best Man. We could do one called The Homeboys. Mm -hmm. They made a show called Orange is the New Black. We could pitch one called Black Still is Black. Black is black, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Season one. <laughs> <laughs> they got a show on, on Showtime about a poor white family called Shameless. We can do one about a poor black family called, I don't get no fuck. I ain't shame. Ain't no shame over here. I ain't shame. Nigga. Ain't no shame with my guy. No, shit. Give a fuck. That's nine seasons yeah, right there. I get there. drunk, bitch. I do it every day. <laughs> kids be fucking off the chain. They grown. I don't even know all them kids in that house. This gonna sound crazy, but good Shame's times. Crazy. Good times should still be on the air. Why? Because, man, we need a show that's been on that long. For okay, long. well, you wanted it to stay on? So you wanted them to come into the future, you want them to stay in the 70s? You know, they needed to come in the future. I need them to grow up like we did. I, I feel like by do. the time the 80s had rolled around for real, at least by the 90s, they should be I made it out, at least to the neighborhood, like a house. JJ would have got caught up in a loan scam. <laughs> that would have been a good season PTP. 18. Yeah, he got caught up. But mama, everybody <laughs> doing it! Oh, this nigga, yeah. I don't care, JJ. Just because everybody do it don't mean you got to do it. <laughs> Season 22 with Michael started drinking. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a man. I've been... I can drink if I want to. Amen. And just so you know, I've been drinking since I was 15. Michael! <laughs> I've been mad at Florida ever since James died, man. Oh, uh, why? Because, bro, that episode went for about 22 minutes, bro. They done went through James' whole shit. Jane's been dead 19 minutes. Florida wait till the last minute and a half to say, damn, damn, damn. You know a good times episode was serious when that bitch go off silent. They just show the little pictures. Man. They don't even play the music. That's some oh, serious that's, shit. That's serious. That, that mean the editor nigga was like, man, cut that shit off. You Sad. saw what just happened? Bro, tell the truth. Saddest episode of Good Time Ever is when Penny Mama burned her with that iron. Come on, man. See, that shit ain't hard to talk about. No, Mama. No, Mama. No, why'd he burn? That, hey, man, Good Times, that shit was not a good time. That shit was fucked up. Remember they tried to make J.J. join the gang? Why? I don't know. I don't want that nigga in my gang. <laughs> Me it's either. me, the kid, Dino. Shut the fuck up, man. We trying to spin the block. This nigga out here, goddamn, hollering and shit. Shut the fuck up. It's time to have JJ. a real discussion, man. 
James Evans hated his whole family. <laughs> he didn't like nobody. Really. He hated coming home. He walked in, slammed the door. Oh. James! That's Look, enough. Florida, I don't want to hear that today. Now go on that bullshit, Florida. Every day. Every day. But we but but you know why? Because we gotta know because it's what the world. The world was out there kicking his ass. It's because Florida didn't understand how hard it was for him to go get a job every day and he didn't know how to read. Wait a minute. I might not be up on my good times all the way. You saying this shit. There wasn't no James can't read episode. Yeah, it was. James, James only went to like third grade. But this look fine. He never helped this nobody with his homework. Knows. That show was on for 15 seasons. He never helped nobody with their homework. How could he? He's out there hustling. Why you think? Why you think he always got? He had to whoop Michael ass for getting smart with him. Cause Michael was smarter than him. Nah, -uh, Daddy, that's what this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> boy, be quiet, <laughs> Daddy. Boy is a white racist word. Okay, boy, you skating on thin ice. Daddy, how long is you gonna keep saying boy? All right, boy, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Okay, daddy, I give up. He couldn't only, oh, he, he couldn't outsmart Michael, so he just had to put his hands on Michael. Beat the shit out of Michael. JJ, he was dumb, he, he knew better. He was like, okay, daddy, you got it. Go over there and paint some shit. And then go do the shit with nobody looking. Right. Yeah. And then Thelma was just sitting around there looking just bad. My theory is Thelma is with Lona's baby. Cause they look, that, that's, that's a little rough yeah. threesome. See, I would, see I what Lona gave Thelma I to would, Florida. I would. You feel me? On the prime episode. Because she was still in the streets. Hmm. And they were such good friends, Florida never told her. So she took her in? Hell yeah. No, I don't believe that. Michael don't belong to James neither. But he never said that. Only son that that um, James Evans had at Florida House was JJ. That's why he did it. Okay. Yep. Wow. He is treated this, JJ. This, 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 this the theory? Is he was this, harder on JJ. He was harder on JJ than the other two kids, bro. Well, was he? Yeah. I guess so. I can JJ was grown, bro. He had to share a couch bed with Michael. Michael was like, Seven. Yeah, man. What the fuck? Is, yeah. JJ, get you a little project house. Bro, even if, remember when JJ got a job at the Chicken Shack? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. They still didn't have enough money to get out the hood, and there was three working adults in the house. You can't make no money in no Chicken Shack. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying it's three income. <laughs> And Thelma volunteered to get a job, and they were like, no, Thelma, and like, they were straight. Thelma has been known to, you know, do little shit. I don't know, bro. You know they I, had plenty you know I go to Dubai? They had plenty of chance to get out the hood, like when James found that money and Florida made him turn it in. That's the worst episode of the whole show. You think that would have changed the outcome of the show? Hold on, if let they me kept go, that I got to get me some snacks. I'm high, bro. Hold on. I'm blow. I got to grab me some chips or something. I'm too high. I need a water. Ain't no more Doritos around this bitch. At this time, please ensure your seatbelt is securely fastened. The tray table and seat backs are up and locked. We'll be underway shortly, and thank you for flying. <laughs> I just thought about what you. <laughs> you told that girl. It is longer than CVS. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, they were long too. We can see it. We can see it. Oh, it's like hey. empty punching bag. Yeah, man, it was great. It was just Bruh. like teddy bear leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all good back there? No kids. Hey, All right, man. we just did. Hey, yeah. got the tour dates. Oh, word. Yeah. We got the dates. <laughs> it's back on, bro. Hey, man, we back in the game. Look, we got a bunch of them too. Yep. 717, that's July 17th, we in Macon. Yeah. Then the 24th of July, we in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Coast Coliseum. Yeah. 
Then August 7th, we in Greenville. Bro, which Greenville? It's a Greenville in every state. But w whichever one the Bon Secours Wellness Arena is at. Remember, we couldn't figure out how to say that yeah, shit. We've I don't even there. know if it's the same. Is it North, is it, bro, is it Greenville, North Carolina, J-O-N? No, it's not. It's Greenville, South Carolina. You, oh. That's why you're sitting bro, back sit there. Bro, sit your dumb back there, bro. <laughs> All right, then on the, August the 14th, we in Fayetteville at the Crown Coliseum. And then, then on, September 11th, we in Jacksonville. At the Vice Star. That sound like a hospital. Yeah. But we ain't, we, we gonna kill them, though. So that's why we gonna you know, sound like that. October 1st, we in Seattle at the Wamu Theater. Wamu. That sound like a whale name. Indian. That's, That's the Indian. The Indian? Probably on the reservation. Word. Okay. Yeah. Well, I move. Then 10 2, we in Sacramento at the Memorial Auditorium. Sacramento? Yes, Sacramento. Where they got some things out there in Word. Sacramento. I ain't never been to Sacramento. Jay, you ever been to Sacramento? I haven't been to Sacramento. Well, we about to go to Sacramento, boy. 10 29, we in Tallahassee. Yeah. Donald Tucker Civic Center. I thought that said Donald Duck. Yeah, that would have been dope, but we're going to be at the Donald Tucker. They probably got a dumb duck in Orlando. Yeah. 11-5, we in North Charleston at the North Charleston Coliseum. You know 11-5 is November. Yeah, but okay. I, just, I can read numbers. Right. But enough about that. In Charleston, South Carolina? Or North? North Charleston. That didn't say the state, though. North Charleston? Yeah, it's north of South Charleston. But it's a it's a Charleston in every state, too. 11-6, which is November the 6th, right. we will be in Greensboro at the Greensboro Coliseum. That's, that's Greensboro, that's North Carolina. Because you know what Yeah, I'm like 30 minutes away from there. You know what I mean? So all they got to do is go to the 85southshow.com for more information on new tour dates. That means we got some more coming, y'all. We got Yeah, we can only drop these right now. Right. These are locked in. Man. Yeah. Well, there you see, we, we are plan. on our way to your city right now. We stole these seats from Spirit and... Um, you know, they, we gonna give them back. It's nah, okay. man, we just being resourceful, bro. We fucking around and got this plane. Yeah. You just gonna go to sleep in it. Seating on that back. We're trying to the ghetto legend store. This ghetto. Get your ticket. I hate it here. I ain't got my seatbelt on. Well, why you don't see the different color than mine? It's not even the same brand seat. It's ghetto. It's hell. Better be glad DC ain't here. He probably on the real plane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, better than no, he he no, no, he just he just caught an earlier flight. That's all that. For me and you done went half on this shit, is it? We should have kept it. Nah, this is a good investment, man. Look, we got our people in the back, she mad. Nah, but... bro, we're gonna probably have to do another season of this show. What show? The one, you know the one. Man, y'all get the tickets. All right, look, we got to get some extra seats for the plane. They don't let back. We ain't got no seat belts, so, you know, go to the website, 85southshow.com. Seatbelt brown, but the seat blue. Uh, ain't no other part to that, Los. You just going to lay that across your waist like that? Yeah. Y'all get y'all tickets to the show. Please. Please. Look at our plane. Look at our plane. Get your tickets, man. Y'all don't move. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta get me some snacks in my life, man. Hey, man. But that's my, that's, right. my, that's my um, theory. Get your man right. Get your snacks. I just need some water. I ate earlier. What you eat? Lasagna. Some homemade? With the silent G. Yeah. Hey, Papa. Yeah. yeah. It didn't disappoint me at all. I didn't get to eat shit. You gotta eat, man. Motherfuckers be grinding so hard they forget to eat. I mean, like, I ain't get to eat no good shit like that. 
I, I used to do that. Like, nigga, I'm not eating. One thing Especially about me. Especially some comedy shit, I'm gonna eat at the club where they gonna give me something free. Or something I'm going to eat. Have. But, I'm not, yeah. We in this bitch, so you blow? Good. Yeah. That's how we live. Got some new apparel on, I see. Oh man, come on. That shit hard. Yeah, it kind of remind me of them Hawks, man. Who we got there. I'm proud of us. Let's go, Hawks. Mm hmm Hawks in this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go, man. Mm-hmm. We're about to go to the finals on these niggas. All the way. All the way, we gonna win it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Let's go get it. They playing tonight. Huh? They play tomorrow, I think. Mm. So they gonna win that. Cause we already in the future. You know what I'm saying? Well, they didn't already won yet. They already won. Like, this, it ain't happened yet, but it has. By the time this happens for these people, it, hell have, it will have happened. Mm. And it happened right now. Simultaneous, at the same time. Both of these. I know I'm happy, cause these are too good. Come on, man. These are delicious. You think it make a difference if you shake the bag of chips? Mm-hmm. You ever be fucked up and you forget to shake it, you open it, and then you try to close the bag and shake it? Hmm? You open it. No, once it's open, it's open. Yeah. Cause you try to shake it again, then chips go everywhere. Can't go back. Fucked up. I don't usually fuck with these, but these hit this time. Some shit really don't need commercial. Mm. Doritos, they don't need commercial. What's you know. your summer predictions? For the summer? Mm-hmm. Like as far as what? I said, what's your summer prediction? You said for the summer. <laughs> no, I said <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say. I don't know what the fuck. No, um, as far as what? You talking about summer trends? Where, where we going? Um, what you think about to happen this summer? Oh, uh, man. Coronavirus part two? Mm -mm. It's false. I don't know. Mm -mm. That's what they, that's what they try. I don't know. I hope nothing. I hope it's the, I hope it's turned all the way up. I hope niggas get to go crazy. But it's been a minute since we got to go crazy though. Like packed out people go out. I think people have a new respect too. We don't. I, it's not. It, I, I don't never need to be that close again. Ever? Not as close as we were before. We were too close. Remember if you went to some packed shit. Like you get to a certain age and you ain't going to. Like why were we that close? That's crazy. In the club with the drink like this. <laughs> and talking about you having a good time. For hours. Oh, this is my song. Oh, excuse me. Then it would take oh, you an hour to get back to your little spot. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Your spot ain't in your spot no more. And there was room in the club. Yeah, everybody was just right there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. We can keep, we can space out. We space need time. We got a lot of space, we just don't use it. Yeah. We just wanna be on the dance floor, packed on the dance floor. Mm -mm. That's fucking crazy, man. I think about all the shit we was doing before the pandemic hit, and then when it hit, I just can't believe we was out here thugging like that. What you mean? A nigga on a packed dance floor. Full of strangers. Yeah, at a game. People were shitting at the football game. What you? Yeah. Yeah. We were eating at buffets. Motherfuckers were getting on the airplane coughing. The whole flight, not regular, just. Uh, uh, mm -mm. <laughs> Pneumonia cough. The whole flight? Yeah. And you was just like, man, I hope they feel better. Now they were, People they were, was catching Ubers with strangers and splitting the money with oh, them. Splitting get the in here with me, Uber Poo. This sound cool. Let's you remember go. when there was too many people and motherfuckers was sitting in each other laughing shit? 
Man, I'm not sending nobody goddamn lap. I'm saying like you have like a chick sitting in your lap and your partner have one. In the Uber? Yeah. Man, fuck that. Leaving the club? On both sides. If I was the Uber driver, get y'all stupid ass out of here. Y'all not finna fuck up my Corolla. Move. And baby, we need an Uber black. We need the big one. All that. We need the big one. We have the spring for it. Who's out here thugging? <laughs> Doing shows? 10,000 people? Right there. 10,000. All of them laughing at you. Breathing on you. They're not, yeah, that's what I meant. They laughing, but it's a lot of spit and bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be motherfucking told. <laughs> that's all it is, is me. <laughs> hey, man. That's for anybody. That's for anybody. Who's out here? Like, like, going crazy. It'll never be the same. You think? From what I see. From what you see? From what I see, man. Okay, so you don't think we can get back there? Mm-mm. Why not? Shit, we don't got the right shit. What you mean? Something missing. I don't know what you mean. We need some of that purple shit from Wakanda to get back to there. What you mean? You saying the uh, fucking uh, full capacity? Yeah. We ain't got, we need some more drugs. That's the only way. It's the only way you can get rid of some shit is drugs. It might be the wrong way to put it, but medicine drugs, not just like street drugs. Yeah. I don't know if they got the right shit yet. That's just me though. I ain't saying they do or they don't. I'm just saying I don't know if it's the right shit to come back to shit that just came through this motherfucker. We gonna we might need a little more shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know the shot is where it's at, but nigga, y'all ain't got nothing we can drink. Ain't nothing I can take. Ain't no spoonful of nothing. <laughs> where that part of that, bro? Give me some of that pink shit that gets give us in elementary stupid. school, man. We can't get none of that. You stupid. <laughs> You know that pink shit when your stomach hurt? Give me some of my Sicilian, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, gonna need that. I just take that. Yeah. That's, I don't know. They ain't got no tussin'. Ain't no new tussin' that came out in a little minute. And it should have by now. Nah. You don't think so? Mm -mm. They can't mess up that recipe. All right, I'm just saying, bro. I'm, I'm skeptical. I don't know. We might be there, but 75% might be where we need to stay at. Maybe 80. 85%. 85%. You ready to go to the whole thing? I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. I'm just <laughs> saying as I far as the capacity. But yeah, okay. 85%, not yeah, 100%. Maybe not 100. Just 85%. That's, yeah, ask for that. Sold out. Ask for that. We got to leave a little and goddamn then, room just in case something happens. And then, we don't need to be sold out. Sold out too goddamn dangerous. That so means not going to sell out. I'm, I don't know. You going to rope off. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, we got to leave a little off. room just in case something happens. You going to rope off. I don't know. You going to rope. Okay. They say that you can do 100, but you not going to do it. But I'm saying if you no. do 100, that means ain't, can't nobody else get up in here. Pack. This is it. Yeah. Can't what if we, what you, if we, you're not going over. What if we need another motherfucker in there? We might not have one doctor in the house. Somebody got to go out. <laughs> you got to go out so I can go in. And then that nigga have to excuse me his way all the way. I can just see it now. Some excuse. little lady working security at the back door. Ah! Ah! Got to wait on somebody to come out. <laughs> no. Two pack. All right, man. Oh, man. We got to wrap this shit up. We high as hell. Yes. Very I mean, much so. I ain't got no sleep. In four days? That's what it feel like, man. Well, this your new life, man. I take little naps and shit. When he take naps, his naps be short. Yeah. I wake up. Then when he sleep long, I worry about it. Yeah. I'm this your new life. life. Oh, I got it. Oh. It's your new life, man. 
now you understand. You fall asleep when you can. And now you up here at the studio, guess what? He sleep. Oh, Waiting he, on you to get home so he can be up with you all the way. All. You don't know. get scared when you have some of those nights where you just remember waking up and you don't know when the baby went to sleep. As long as you hold them, you straight. Yep, that sound about right. Every time you put your baby to sleep, you're gonna go to sleep, though. <clears throat> you should. That's the way it goes. You should. You think you're putting them to sleep, but you really putting yourself to yeah, sleep. You be working hard, too. I, I do. I'm like, all right, let me get this little guy. All right, he wants you to walk like this, all right. You gotta walk? That's the, I gotta walk and I gotta, I gotta beef it up. <laughs> Not to beef it up. I gotta beef it up. And he know when you don't beef, beef it, it up. up. Squats, lunges. Vicky Tommy. Anything, yeah. <laughs> Any, anything that. Who the show? <laughs> Yeah, stanky leg, anything. Earl Flynn. Man, Puchata. <laughs> what is that shit? What Mac Dress say? Growl like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Man. Well, yes. much success to you on your journey. Oh, no, thank you, man. It's hey, a new baby, man. Hey, hey, you know what? Matter of fact, now nah, I think about it, Country Wayne said that shit, man. He what? He said this shit on here. He, Cause I was the only person that didn't have a kid. Uh-oh. On here, Country Wayne, he was on some bullshit, man. He talked that up for you? Hey, look, look, goddamn magical country. That wasn't that long ago, man. Motherfucker, man, this motherfucker here came through and put a ghetto spell on me. Damn. This nigga did like Stephen King thinner. They stay away from that nigga. Don't have baby. Why would you do that? No, I fuck with country way. But he did say that. <laughs> That's just stupid. Now you in there. Have some more, man. No. DC say he having 10. 10? Nick going for it. He'll easily have it. Nick going for it. Yeah, he more than halfway there. He had what seven, eight, nine. Yeah. He gonna have his 10 in no time. Yeah, that 10. What's that? What's it? So, 10? I can't even say it. My voice cracked with one, dog. 10. ten. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10. This many. Five, two times. Children. People. Ages. People. Ages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> ten through ten for ten. Thirty for thirty. Childbirth. Ten at at each. Okay. One year old, two year old, three year old, four year old, five year old, six year old, seven year old, eight seven year old, old, nine year old, ten year old. Started ten years ago, right? And they got one every year, they crank it out. That's what they do. Shit. They making people. That's a lot of work. You gotta split that up, huh? Shit. I don't know. Well, I guess if you a man, you don't really have to split it up. You can get, you could do 10 women, you can get 10 women pregnant in a year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just a lot of fucking. Cause 10 for 10, that's crazy. You didn't take no year off. Beirut. <laughs> the great Bambino. <laughs> Swing for the fence every time. I'm either hitting the home run, I'm striking I'm out. 10 of 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's too, no. That's way too many, dog. Hey, man. 10. But hey, man, people do what they gonna do, man. I hey, man, it, that's normal. I rock with it. All you gotta do Hell, I know motherfuckers who work at Burger King who got 10 kids. Shit, exactly. Some people want to be fruitful. Yeah. People with a lot of kids just open up a de daycare by default. That's Shit, their kids. Well. There's always people here. I know how many I got. That's all I can keep up with. 
Maybe they know something we don't. Hey, man, this is the 85 South Show. This is a podcast for motherfuckers who got a lot of kids and the people who got some kids, and then the folks who don't got no kids. And no kids. And then this is for, like, the aunties and the uncles, too. And at the kids. same time, we fuck with y'all. We out this bitch. Yeah, we out here. Hey, me some more Doritos yeah. on me, fuck nigga. I'm happy. Doritos? Man, bring me some ads, man. Let's do some ads. We got about 22 ads to do, man.